heard the previous session, you know about Jeff. If you don't, it's an extreme pleasure for me to welcome Jeff uh, to our first, um, for the second time, the same day, for, uh, uh, for actually a Music Expo Online. Jeff has spoken many, many, many times at Music Expo here in the Bay Area, but also in Boston. And actually last year in Miami, um, you were just with Lennon uh, 10 minutes ago to discuss how to get your one f first thousand fans. Um, you work at a record label, you work at Parmine, uh, you teach, play sax, play guitar, uh, so, and you're a great friend, and it's great to have you, so welcome, and how are you doing? Thanks, man. I always love doing these. I really do. Um, so happy to, happy to support, happy to be a part of. I'm doing, <clears throat> I was doing great until I just choked on whatever that was. <laughs> I literally just crammed a meatball sandwich in my face in the eight minutes we were offline. So uh, thank you for giving me a quick break to, to catch up, because after this, I'm teaching classes. Um, so it's a packed day, but that's, you know, that's what I love. I'm, I'm a busy guy. Um, and I do, you know, I've done a ton of different things in my career. Um, and, and lately, I've been behind the camera more than anything. You know, I'm doing less music performing and much more video and, and photography content creation both for myself as well as for clients. I've got a new music video that's going to uh, go live on the 15th with an artist named Peej. It's a, he's kind of a cool left field bass music artist from Reno. Uh, we did a really fun music video shoot. So that, that's that been exciting. You know, working with people in the music space as well as small brands that are trying to understand their branding and understand their, get a, get a grip around their visual presence. And uh uh, it's really become a sweet spot for me, you know, after years and years and years and decades, really working in the music business for someone, um, starting my own company was a huge leap of faith. And it's like, I, I, I can't say enough how thrilled I am that I did it and, and happy I am with the path that I'm on. Um, you know, so, so I get to do stuff like this with you and, and give artists some, some, feedback on their visual branding um so we we asked and, and i guess maybe put so yeah, just, what, what are we going to so do now i think it's, this is what we're trying to do every time we have a music expo is to have a a bit of a feedback session mm -hmm. uh, we've done it for mixing and mastering we've done it for songwriting and today we're doing on on you know creative assets so tell us how it's going to work and uh uh, if there's still opportunity, sometimes we have people, Hey, I didn't know, uh, how can I still jump on board? So can you walk us through the process here? Absolutely. I think, cause we've only got four or five of you guys that submitted to my email already. And so obviously we're going to get to those. Hopefully they're here in the room with us. Um, so thank you for submitting, but that's going to free up some time. So why don't we, you can either email me. At, and I'll drop my email in here, jeffstrawbranding at gmail.com. Or they can drop it in the... Uh... Or you can just put it, a link in the Slack yeah. feed, and, and if maybe you guys can help me keep track of them. Um, and so what we're looking for are uh, album artwork, press photos, um, potentially your full social media presence, um, or a music video, something visual or tied to your music that you're looking for feedback on. And that can be something that's already been released or something that's in pre-release, hopefully, which would be, means you would ask still have time to act on that um, feedback before releasing it. But either way works great. You can always learn and, and iterate and and kind of grow your your brand and your presence as, as you go. So um, I'm gonna start with the few that have come through. Let's see, let's see. Okay. I disappear. You go full screen. Don't leave me. And you're going to share. Don't leave me forever. No, no, I need... I'll be around. You're going to share your <laughs> screen, huh? Yeah, exactly. So just give me the, the cue, okay? All right. Sounds good, man. I am going to go ahead and we should be able to still do screen and screen, right? This is what we tested. Share screen. Uh, this one. Start sharing. Yeah. Let me know when you can see it. Okay, this is, this is Kayla Love. So is Kayla in the room? Kayla Love. She's 
Yeah, definitely a she. Yep. Oh, sorry. I, I thought I clicked start sharing, but I didn't. Are you getting my screen share now? Okay, except it's doing visual feedback. I got to move to the other screen. Sorry about that. There we go. Just off of here. Kayla Love 1, Kayla Love 2, uh, is she around? Because I would rather start with the people who are around. Right. Absolutely. Kayla, Kayla. She, we, we linked on social media. Oops, sorry, this is, I'm not trying to do that. Uh, and she said she was excited about this session today over Instagram. So maybe she will be here in a bit. Okay, so let me go on to our next one. Let's see, let's see. Music Expo submissions. We have Marco De Sang, and I apologize for names. Marco De Sangron, and he sent in a video. So, oh, can we? I'm used to doing this on Zoom. How do we share uh, audio? Do I have to reshare to get my audio? Oh, okay, great. Uh, do we have Marco here? Oh, let's just. Well, I'm already screen sharing. Let's see if this works great. Uh, yeah, let's see if he's here. I'm looking at Slack. Marco. And for those of you guys that are here, and I, I don't have a window into how many attendees we have in the room at the moment. Maybe you can help me with that. Uh, hey, this is a reminder. Um, Anna is telling me, please... Um, when we ask, look at the Q and A channel. That's the one we're using while we're doing the the session. Uh, but Marco is here, uh, so cool. Marco is here, so we can we can start with Marco's uh, submission. Uh, call posted a teaser video on the social track. So we could go to Colin's uh, video after. Yeah, let's. Cool. So I'll and, take and we it. have. I'll, I'll keep. Don't. Uh, um, I will be keeping track of the submission. You guys ping me, and then I'll queue it for um, for for Jeff. Okay, so so we've got Marco. He's here, yeah. So this this is a really nice piece. Let's let's watch. The, this is a minute and a half video. Hopefully, you guys get audio. Let me know. <laughs> Tengo muchos pensamientos, ninguno me roba el aliento así. everybody stand up and clap for that this is a really nice piece so am i back on video like okay awesome so marco great job man um so some things i loved about this um and and it, there's a lot more of what i love than any sort of criticism on this which is great it means you're off to the races already so um First things first with a video, and most people are submitting a, a still frame, um, so it's nice to jump in with a video. You have so many opportunities to really convey your visual thoughts when you've got a full video. And this was only a minute and a half, but it still did a great job. So to me, this track is warm. It's very organic. 
it's very kind of mellow, it's pleasing, it's in this like happy, floaty kind of a vibe, right? And that's without seeing the video. You flip into the video, you're echoing that on the visual side very, very well. Um, a couple things that I love is it seems like you shot this on film, on an old film camera, and I don't know if you did or if that's all post-production techniques, but it works tremendously well for this because um, it feels like we got transported back to like 1972 on an island or maybe in Cuba or like, I, I, I don't know where, but that's the vibe I get, right? And so th that's what you're trying to do with a piece of visual media. You're trying to imbue the vibe. You're trying to draw people into the sonic side of things through the visual. So you did a fantastic job of that. Um, really soft colors, soft treatment, soft edges, the little bits of film grain that are in there, the sort of shaky shutter on the edits, all really, really well done. The other piece that I really liked um, was at some point about halfway through on the on the snare hits, on the twos and fours, you did this thing where you just really quickly switch shots and then back to the, the shot of the band. That, because a lot of these are really slow cuts, which is where, which works great, that switch kind of wakes people up and, and makes them pay attention yet again, just in case they'd started drifting. So you didn't overdo that. You didn't like find that trick and just rely on it for the entire thing. It would have gotten really old really quick. So good job on that. Um, the car shot at the beginning was also really nice and vibey. I'm, I'm not a car guy, so I don't know what kind of vehicle that was, but that worked really well. The thing that falls short for me, and it's weird because I'm a nature guy, but the, the duck shot on the pond made no sense. The color vibe of it was cool, not warm like most everything else. And it was so out of context that I was like, why the, what the hell are we doing here in the duck pond? Right. But I mean, that's like, I had to find something to give you in terms of a criticism, I feel like in these sort of feedback sessions. And so for the most part, man, just, just a really great job. Right. I think everybody I'm, and I'm seeing here now, uh, really good, good stuff. So uh, in terms of the comments you're getting from the from the audience as well. So so we're going to move on. Thank you for, for submitting. Uh, hopefully he was here. Um, I, do you want to go to Colin's thing next, Loic? Because he's on a, on a bit of a time crunch. And then we'll, don't worry if you submit it early. We'll have plenty of time to get to your stuff as well. Um, and he said he put that in the social track. Do I see that? So uh, Colin, what... Well, Colin, what do you want us to uh, to pull? Because I have to go back, and it's kind of difficult to quickly find it. Do you mind? Yeah, re -drop post it here, man. Help, yeah. help a brother out. Yeah, <laughs> repost it here, Colin, if you don't mind. I'll post again. Yeah, thank okay. you, because I, I don't know what I'm looking for. All good. Um, and then we are going to move into Felon Creative after uh, that. Mar Marco said. Awesome. Thank oh, you for yay. the feedback, Jeff. Good. Great. Awesome. You're off to the races, man. Really great stuff. Thank you so much. Hey, post a link to your YouTube channel here for everybody to go and subscribe. Like, I'm a firm believer in, yes. you know, at least a little bit of self promotion and, and let's all support each other. Um, let's go subscribe and watch each other's stuff. So, so we, I have, see it up. we have Colin's e image and, um, you know, you can. Okay. I'm it. still screen sharing, I think, right? Now you are. Now you are. Okay, awesome. I can't take this big.
thought that was the loop. Um, nice work. So Colin, where are you? Um, that was dope, man. I, you know, whoop, shift gears, which I love. Um, a very, it, it's funny too, because I almost wore my NASA, my new NASA shirt, which would have been like perfect for me to be a fanboy for your, your outer space video. So a couple things that worked. Um, sonically, I love the track. I like um, the clean, cleanness of the hi-hats and your overall production like sits really nicely with me. And so the visuals, it's a very kind of aesthetic that I'm into personally, which doesn't, necessarily mean it's good or bad but uh you're really clean right and there's a lot of like edges like that's very much how i produce and very much how i like to do visuals and so this video treatment echoed that it echoed what i see in the track to a point at least the like the quick cuts the um um overall color palette seemed really nice as well as uh And let me just say this, what, what didn't work for me though, was the outer space theme. Like while this is a really cool and well-produced video, I, I, for me personally, I don't get immediately how it relates to the track. And I also don't know with the caption that you, you tossed out there, throw a like if you're excited to hibernate with a pumpkin flavored vice, if pumpkins have always rattled your cages. And I know there's two parts to this. Oh, so there's pumpkins in the photo, but these two things don't, totally go together with me so there's an inconsistency around the track and the video treatment and and like look man sometimes it's not like everything has to be literal you don't have to show your singer you don't have to have a literal representation of the lyrics on screen and again i apologize i'm doing this real time oh shit sorry i'm doing this real time so i didn't have a chance to like watch this multiple times and really dig in we'll just let it kind of run in the background but for me I, so I like it, but with that caveat, like it seems like unless more about your brand is also very outer spacey, which it doesn't look like it is. I'm just looking at the rest and hey, look, flip, flip back to my screen real quick. Um, so if we look here at the rest of the posts, like, man, so you've got some gorgeous photography here, this really nice sunset, this sort of nature vibes, um, right? So this feels to me very separate and distinct from the vibe I got from the outer space video, right? So that would be my negative feedback. Like it's a very well done piece. I just don't know that it's the right for this particular time in. Now, if this is a kickoff of a bit of a shift and you're going to sort of shift into a whole bunch of posts around the moon and outer space and that kind of stuff, well then cool. Then this is maybe a, a great time to shift gears. You don't have to stick to one thing forever. People would never... People will get bored really quick, but I, I hope that makes sense. Um, uh, uh, um, so Colin, let, let me know. I think I'm gonna move on, but hopefully that was a little bit of something for you to to gravitate on and, and okay, good, he's typing here now. Cool, right? Yeah, you got it, man. Like I said, I, I do love it and I think it's a beautiful track. The vocal on that thing is, is ridiculously good. Hey, PFAS is here what's up man um uh okay so moving on to our next contender we have felon or talon creative um and uh the instagram is instoblast with particularly this particular image here so am i up on skype yes it's a screen share thank you for helping out on this man um so I forget your first name, I apologize, it's George. So this was the image in question and then he also sent links to his socials. Um, so uh, what, I, what I don't have is um, anything sonic to sort of compare this to. Uh, I'm not just randomly gonna click on videos here because I don't know what I'm gonna get. But um, let's just analyze this, right? Because this is what you sent in and I think, I think um, what you were most curious about is that is that right george yeah i see that that's why i'm kind of i'm kind of asking him so so a couple of things about this that work for me and a couple of things that don't work for me um one is those e's are really illegible in that font right i get i get the direction but if i didn't hadn't clicked a link that i knew what this said i would struggle with the legibility side of it 
Um, so, you know, that's a font choice thing. And I, th and I think that, uh, you know, in this class I'm, I'm teaching tonight, visual design for Icon Collective, we spent a full week talking about typography and um, why it's so important for musicians to, to get a good grip on and understand um, the, the sort of feelings associated with fonts, as well as the sort of nuts and bolts around like legibility and things like that. Like if we, if we look here at, oops, I'm gonna open with nothing. Um, the other piece is you can always like make stuff tiny and this is going to be hard to do in my browser, but it actually gets a little bit more legible when it's tiny. It's it, the, those E's kind of translate a little bit. Um, Colin, thanks for being here, buddy. No worries. Um, uh, so that, that's my initial feedback is the font isn't great for me. Now let's talk about the image. Uh, a really real tape machine. It looks like, like maybe that's a 24 track. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. It's an Ampeg sort of old school tape machine. I don't know if that's your piece of gear and something that's in your studio or um, a studio that maybe you recorded at. If you can give me context around that, that would be great. Um, but it's a cool image. Um, it's definitely a cool image. Um, I'm, I think that the treatment and the edit on it is a little bit extreme for me. Um, but I understand what you're going for. So in and of itself, I don't, I don't dislike the edit. Um, where I think it falls a little bit short for me is that it doesn't, now that we're, now we switch gears over into the social um, for, for him, um, Talon Creative, right? Um, nothing else is jumping off the page at me with this color palette. So if this was your thing, Right, everything has this rocking pink and this super icy cool blue slash teal color. That's the the brand vibe. Then then go full on and and create a bunch of content around this so that we can get different looks at maybe your guitar collection or you know other pieces of studio gear in this same look and feel to to provide a continuity thread and a consistency thread. The way it is now, I see like. Well, I don't see these colors on any of this stuff, right? And so, again, it's not to discourage people from trying something new, but it's also, I guess this, when you look here at this lace skull thing, it's a little bit of that color palette, but it's kind of buried around this other stuff, so it doesn't jump out at me. Um, don't be discouraged to try something new, but don't ever leave your fans so far in in the dark from like where you started so make a left or make a right but don't don't go so far left or so far right all in one jump that's my personal opinion and i think that that's good counsel both for uh uh the, your music as well as your visual presence like right if you're a if you're a rock and roll band you don't just all of a sudden put out a boss and over record and expect that all of your fans are going to follow along so you know you've got a more of a sort of like a realistic color palette for a lot of this stuff. And I, th I think you're also struggling to find your sort of visual brand voice through this, right? So for me, if this is something that you're into and you're looking again, kind of like with the, the NASA video um, we just watched, that you're gonna shift gears into doing more stuff like this, then double down and go for it. Cause it, cause it is cool and it is a little different. And, and those colors will get noticed, especially on socials. like it's bright, it's vibrant. As people are, are scrolling in their feed, you're going to get noticed, right? So if that's the case, then go for it. If this is a singleton, one cover, and then you're going back, then I think it, it, it doesn't quite fit with the rest of what you have going on. I hope that helps. Um, Geo, gear from a studio produced track. Okay, cool. Cool. Thanks for giving me context on that. Hopefully that helps, buddy. Um, yeah. And I think I think we are going to move on. Yeah, let's right. move on. Uh, George, thank you so much for submitting uh, your, your. Oh, art. oh, the, the last piece, and this was maybe you can help me with this. So, so if you look here, sorry, he's got his Facebook, SoundCloud, LinkedIn. Everything's under this Talon or Thalen. Again, I'm sorry, Creative. Um, his LinkedIn is obviously his real name. That makes sense. But then the Instagram is under Insto Blast, which, like that doesn't make sense to me. Like grab, gra be on brand with your name and grab this one if you can. Um, and I th think Instagram still lets you change your name at least once or twice. And so 
you might want to think just in, just for the sake of continuity and, and ease of people finding you as you start to build that fan base. Um, um, you know, think about getting them all to line up. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad I remember that because I made a note of that last night when I was looking through these to make sure I, I mentioned that to you, buddy. Thank you, but George. Nice job. All right, Ryan. Do we have Ryan Hamidi in here? We do. Okay, I thought so. So we're gonna pop open his Instagram. Okay. Okay, great. Alexis, I know quite well. Um, no, I do. Like we've worked on some stuff together, so that's kind of cool. And if you look here, buddy, I had you up. Uh, yes, I was listening to Nine Inch Nails because I'm like that. But I also had you up here already, so I was listening to your track on Spotify to get a vibe. So let's just play a play a quick second of of his tune, um, and then we'll dig in. Okay. I fucking I didn't give you a fade. I'm sorry. I fucking love it. Um, I'm a big metal guy, so love the track. Um, and I think this is your first release, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let me pull up Slack so I can still see the chat here. Right? Yeah. Great job, man. So uh, let's talk about your artwork first on the on the single. So this is really cool. Um, wait, where'd it go? God, God damn it, Spotify. Um, I'm just trying to make it a little bit bigger. It's not going to be any bigger. That's the beauty, the beauty of Spotify, right? We get it done. So this, right off the bat, is different um, in sort of progressive metal territory. I mean, I don't. I, I do listen to a good bit of metal. I'm kind of more into the metalcore stuff than I am the progressive side of things. So I don't know this artwork language and vibe quite as well as I do some other sort of subgenres of metal, but... I will say, I like that you are a little bit different, right? So both your, um, like, the illustrative style of this cover really works well for me. It leaves a lot open to interpretation. It leaves a lot open to, hey, what's going on with that thing? Um, which is great. Sometimes being too liter literal is really a, an easy downfall to, to jump into. And so anytime you get people wondering or questioning I think that that can work to your, to someone's advantage, especially in certain subgenres and genres of music. So good job on that. I really like the cool and warm color palette balance that you get on this piece of art. Uh, did you do the illustration, um, or some? Let me put this in the chat. Or did someone you know um, do it? That's it'd be nice for me to know. So um, and then I really like your logo too. Like this venom and spirit. Like not all metal. We we all know this. This is always kind of the joke right around like black metal, especially. A lot of metal bands, you cannot read their fucking logo. And it's sort of like a running joke within that whole world. It's like the more illegible it is, the better band, you know. I always I always wonder that. It's such a funny thing. Uh, okay, I don't know Mark Facey, but good to know that you've got, you, you, you hired out and you spent money on it. Because it shows, right? If you were a visual artist and this was your work, I'd be impressed as well. But... If this was the vibe you were after and you, you paid someone for the cover, then good job, because I think you, he did come up with a really nice concept for you, man. Um, oh, good. And so you, so I, you, if you guys are looking at the chat, he said he, he had someone do the logo and it didn't want it to be too illegible. So good job. You've also got this like swirly thing under the venom and spirit. I, it just works really well, man. So, so good job on that. And then let's talk quickly about your social presence. Um, so oh, here's here's the logo a little bit bigger for you guys to check out. And then also here is the album cover, a little bit bigger. So super solid work. Oh, you talk. Sorry, two seconds. OK, so what I wanted to say about your social presence, because I dug through a good chunk of these last night, is 
you're really, really transparent and authentic about your process. And I feel like that will pay off for you in the long run. Sort of like what Lennon and I were talking about in the last panel. You're not trying too hard to be super on the ball guy. Like I have it all together and I'm the fucking metal God. And don't you know, like, which would be fake. Right. And I think that people would see right through that. And instead you're being super vulnerable and super authentic yeah. about, um, what, uh, uh, um, okay. Uh, super authentic about what it is you're doing, right? You, you talk about your vocal lessons and, and how the feelings that you got from your vocal teacher, like all of these small tidbits are really important to share with your growing fan base. Um, that being said, uh, I'm not crazy about how many sort of screenshot style things are on here. I totally understand you want to like hype up these guys for writing you about you in the, in their blog. That's important. These guys playlisted you also important. I just don't know if this is necessarily the right place for it because then it lives there forever with things like this. I recommend people doing, um, screenshots and posting them in their stories so that it's, you can still save it up here in a story content, but it doesn't live on your feed ongoing. Um, and that, sort of opens up more space for you to do the creative piece when it comes to your actual Instagram content. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, cause like, like this, this, I am assuming this is kind of your press photo. This is a really strong shot. You know, I love the leading lines. I love the, you've got a nice rule of thirds going here. It's a good use of contrast. Like as a photographer, this is a, this is a nice looking image, more of this, less of, of this kind of stuff. Okay. Hope that helps, man. But nice work. And I love the track. I followed you on Spotify last night, too. So good stuff, man. All right. We are ready to move into. Yeah. Thank you so much for submitting, buddy. Hey, and this takes balls, you guys. Like, I, I've done a lot of this kind of stuff over the years in, in different formats. And and it takes um, it takes balls to submit your stuff to, like, openly get criticized by somebody. And look, man, I, I know my stuff, but I'm not the be all end all. So, so the hope is that I'm inspiring you guys to continue to create and make adjustments and be open to, to hearing some feedback. It's not my intention at all to like bash anybody's creative output. I'm here to help. Like, I, I hope that is conveyed, but it's worth saying like just straight to the point. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Um, and, and that's when I say my famous line, which I told Ryan, I think on IG. Ryan, if you remember, what did I say? I wrote you back. I said feedback is, and we're going to wait for Ryan to complete the sentence. Okay. Feedback is, Ryan, and there's a bit of delay. While you find the next, uh, uh, Ryan, feedback is. So we going with Nick next? Yeah, let's come. He's okay. looking, he's looking. Ryan, come on, you're looking. Feedback is a gift, okay? And it, cha uh, and it changes uh, everything. Um, uh, feedback is a gift. And so take it, you know, yeah, feedback is a gift. Okay. So yes, it takes, it takes, uh, it takes uh, guts to, uh, to submit. To, that was the word I was looking for, not balls. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. To, 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 to be, because you're afraid of being roasted and criticized. But sure. by the way, here at the Spirit, the Music Expo is not to criticize or roast you. It's a, uh, uh, it's uh, it's really to provide uh, constructive feedback so you can move um, forward with your art. Ooh, big image. Okay, great. Yeah. Sweet. You want I to play this. this? Yeah, we're going to play this. This okay. is from Nick Gamond, I believe is how we say it. So I have no context on the rest of the presence, but this is a Dropbox link on a work in progress coming way out of left field. Started with a visualizer, turned off as a music video. I hope this is your drone shot. Or if not, I want to know where you got it because this is a ridiculously great screenshot. So, oh, you guys, a couple of you had this issue before we dig in. On Instagram especially, when you upload a video, you have the ability um, on that first screen after the upload finishes, there's two frames. I forget what the left one is, but the one on the right is for you to select the still frame. And what you don't want is a black screen which is your opening fade up from black. If you don't tell Instagram which frame you want to be your thumbnail, it will default to the first frame in the video, which normally sucks because it's black. Um, and so I don't know if this video is going to start with this shot or not. It probably will knowing Dropbox, but you know, this is something that I would click on 
and, and actually play because I'm super interested in what this is going to be versus a black video. Eh, no, sorry. I don't have time. I have accounts that I know I'm interested in that don't, don't do that. Right. So help yourself out on that piece. Okay, here we go. In the park, I was walking in the other day. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw and I saw a duck. <laughs> A quick clap, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100. Let's that clap this. So cool. Nick took us somewhere else. We, we, Music Expo just turn, took a turn, <laughs> right? Yeah, so wow, dude, thanks for submitting this. Um, so I was right that, that you chose that screenshot. Good job, first and foremost. Second of all, let's dig into this bad boy. Um, I, I'm just because I can do this. I'm going to scrub through some of this stuff. This opening scene. I was just kidding. I don't care if it's your drone shot or if you found it on a stock website or something. It's fantastic. Um, it looks like an eyeball as well as being this crazy cool traffic pattern of right. So you, it's a it's a dual purpose image. It's got you get what I'm saying, like the iris and the pupil. Super super cool. Um, the overall vibe, like coming out of this for the most part, and this track takes a couple detours sonically, but I think that it's really unnerving. Um, it's really chaotic and it's, it's really like frenetic. And so those, um, you know, if we threw this track under Marco's video of the seventies vibe with the, the cool old school car, um, it would be horrendous how much they didn't match, right? But for this visual aesthetic that you chose with this track, woo, we're in business, right? Because these two things now are jiving so incredibly well. Um, so that's the overall aesthetic. Then we head into this like shoes and the, the commuter craziness, right? And in terms of COVID, this makes me very nervous. But anyways, uh, and then as if this wasn't chaotic enough, he's going to fucking turn it upside down. And now we have to watch these shoes upside down walking, which again is even more unnerving and more like, Oh, it's just uncomfortable. Right. And if the track that's going on under this right now, this is crazy, right? Like all these cool percussion elements, like uh, a lot of rhythmic variation going on. Like, wow. You can tell I'm excited about this, right? I hope so. A lot of glitch edits coming to this next section here. Uh, this guy turns into like a meme kind of in this, like when you zoom in on this whole guy, uh, it's kind of a little bit of humor. This glitchy edit of this guy with the spoken word thing, uh, you know, again, I'm not sure where you got any of this footage, but it, it all works out kind of really well. Um, and, and then we have back to ducks. Like, can someone explain to me what's going on with the ducks in the videos for me today? Because is this, I still started cracking up when I saw the ducks because they're just like fucking following me around today. I don't know what's going on. Um, anyways, I'm not so sure I understood the ducks, but you, what you did that's really nice. Let's watch this transition. And I saw a duck. Right? It goes from that super frenetic craziness into this like just sucks all the air out of the room. That's when the ducks and that sort of negative video filter treatment kicks in so again i don't know if i would have picked ducks although i think he says that in the sample that's probably what what they're about um 
it, that works really well too as a change of pace. If you guys are producers, songwriters, you know tension and release really makes people get that warm and fuzzy feeling. You want to try to do the same thing in your music videos and have that building of tension and release, and you want it to arc with the context of the music. So good job. The last thing is our slow motion sexy girl in the bikini. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? But when you listen to the, this transition, we get this like almost a hey, RIP Eddie Van Halen style sleazy 80s lead guitar thing. <laughs> Okay, listening back, it's not so 80s, but it's this like electronic, uh, I mean, electric lead guitar. And I guess that's sort of the duality he was looking for here. This fell a little bit short for me as much as I don't mind um, women in bikinis. It felt a little out of place, to be honest. That's my only criticism. But man, this thing was just flipping great. Really, really cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we got time for one more quick one. Is that right? Yes. Like, Yes, so there was uh, Alexis actually share her SoundCloud. Okay. Oh, we've no, we've got this error because that's just Alexis. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you've just got audio, right? Yeah, but I was yeah. thinking maybe we could look at a header. You know. Okay. And I see that now you're on the web page. I'm so glad you're going to our web page. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I just I figured you needed the hits and the traffic. We've also got this submission here from uh, Eric Reynolds. And he Perfect. said, is this his daughter Sasha's music video? So let's take a look through this. And then if we've got time, um, Alexis, we'll dig in on yours. Uh, we're not going to watch this whole thing, Eric, just so you know. No offense. Said we weren't going to watch it all, and then I almost watched it all, which is probably a good sign. Um, Eric, quick question for you while I get started here. Is this stock footage you guys found from a site? Is some of this shot on your own, um, or is, is it all one way or the other? Please let me know. Um, and I think, like you said, this is your daughter's um, song, right, and video? <clears throat> oh, sorry. <clears throat> so... Uh, another really nice tender touch, like th this one goes really well with Marcos in terms of the color palette, uh, especially the end 
the the second half with this woman. Here, let me scroll back up. The the color palette around this sequence here is is very much in line with what. Um, okay, good. So, what did you guys shoot, and what did you, um, what did you license? I'm very curious because let's let's talk through this. I really like the flower sequence in the beginning, right? This like I guess it's a dandelion or something. Um, I'm not. I'm certainly no expert on flowers so, no there's the dandelion i knew there was a fucking dandelion <laughs> this thing i don't know what it is um okay so you guys shot this great so what you did really nicely is you don't this doesn't feel like iphone footage or or even feel like any um dslr footage because you took such a nice job of treating it to give it a vibe um and so again through post-production uh you did a really nice job of a making it match with the footage of the woman walking around in the in the second half, as well as just giving it a really soft and relatable vibe. Um, and it goes really nicely with the music. Like what what I wrote was um, tender, like the her vocal and the the really sparse instrumentation of this track. There's really no other. I mean, I'm sure there's other words for it. But what came out for me was the tenderness of of this song and. Um, what's more tender and delicate than flowers, right? And so um, the other piece that was really nice in this opening sequence, so this is nice. You've got the dandelions blowing in the wind, which is great. And then right here, oops, I killed the audio. Right here yeah. is where her vocal starts, right? And that's the first time we've seen color subtle little thing there that might, some people might not pick up on, but they're just going to know that it felt right. Um, so until 46 seconds, uh, it was all black and white, sort of a little Wizard of Oz trick, right? Like the beginnings in black and white. And once her vocal started, um, you get this, and it's still not like over the top smash you with bright, vibrant colors. It's still very muted. It's still very delicate, but it's timed really well. So that worked incredibly well for me. Um, I kind of liked the whole flower closing back up reverse sequence that you did at least once maybe a couple times um and then i was also happy to see that you didn't only have flower footage for the whole thing i love that we sort of transitioned into this woman walking through the woods um at some point because if it was just three minutes of these close-up flowers i think you would have lost me and so that was a nice touch and a, and a good change of pace um overall really nice job so like, uh, what do you want to do for the last couple minutes here, buddy? Thank, I, thanks, everybody. Hey, thank you for Eric and for his daughter. Go subscribe. Yeah. Field Dress is no, the I, I think account. we're gonna, yeah, no, thank you so much, um, uh, Jeff, for uh, showing all of this. I'm gonna put you back on the camera. I'm sure. gonna be on the camera. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna be okay. not small, maybe not small. S Same with you. We swap, we swap, so it looks like you're looking at me. Hey. There we go. Hey, I'm not gonna look that way. For, hey, how you doing? Bye. You clearly have a Thank much better lighting than me. I can see. Yeah, you like that? Um, so thank you so much for everyone, uh, to everyone for submitting their work either in advance or in real time. Um, this is always yeah, you know, trying to make this uh, super interactive. Uh, we're gonna take a short break before we jump to the next session. We have a bit of setup to do. Uh, which is going to be about release strategy and really coming up with like step by step from uh, our friend Nathan Doe's. Uh, Jeff, I know you're very busy today. Really appreciate your time uh, moderating the panel with uh, or the conversation with uh, Lennon for introducing us to Lennon. I think everybody enjoyed that presentation. Yeah. And, and for offering to to provide uh, creative feedback, you yourself take a lot of photos. Um, if you don't. Follow Jeff, follow him on Twitter and Instagram. You will see his work. Uh, works a lot with artists, lots, lots of brands. He's doing a, a full um, branding uh, um, course for IO Collective. Huh? Is that correct? Icon, Icon, Icon Collective. Collective. Yep. My bad, my bad. Icon no, Collective. Good, good. So uh, please clap. Uh, oh, I want to see a bunch of ones for, for Jeff to thank him today. And Jeff, we're going to free you up so you can go to uh, your next thing today. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, look, I really appreciate it. Um, I love, especially if there's any of you guys in the Bay Area, I love doing photos with, with artists. Always happy to collaborate and work on videos and things like that. And for those of you guys that are not in the Bay Area, 
You know, I've got a lot of clients that I work with who are looking for this kind of feedback on what they do and for help on strategy and building a visual brand around their music that is relatable and that can help them scale, help them grow fans, that kind of thing. So, um, hey, Lennon's still here. Thanks, buddy. Um, I'm oh, glad thanks, you stuck around. Yeah. Um, and yeah, again, just want to echo real quick, I, and then I'll then I'll be out of here. Thank you for submitting. Um, I I can't thank you enough, and I can't appreciate enough how much it takes to put your work out there to get that sort of feedback. So so keep that up. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Go create. You know, I love uh, the the t-shirt you were talking about. Um, I want to make a such string of, of shirts that just say create more because I'm all about just let's create more and let's do it together. So I dropped a, I'm about to drop a couple links into my socials. Please go follow me. I'd love that. Love to interact with you guys, man. My Twitter has been blowing up. Like I've, I've refocused on Twitter and I'm so happy. Like uh, knowing that you're, we all know that, t you know, like tied into the Twitter as well. It's been great, man. The photography community over there is friggin' awesome and super supportive. So, and, and I know you're engaging to conversation, like you respond to people. Um, I noticed that, you know, so that's great. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for having me. And, and I, I look forward to meeting up. If I can come back for the, the thing tonight, I will, but no problem. It promises. would be awesome to have you. Yeah. And now I can I'll share with you. Back for yeah, yeah. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Uh, Lennon, anytime the Twitter consult, you just call me. All right, we're going to switch gear for a second.